Bhagavat said, Now what do you think, O Subhuti? Does a Shrodapana think in this wise? The fruit of Shrodapati has been obtained by me. Subhuti said, Not indeed, O Bhagavat. A Shrodapana does not think in this wise. The fruit of Shrodapati has been obtained by me. And why? Because, O Bhagavat, he has not obtained any particular state or dharma. Therefore he is called Shrodapana. He has not obtained any form nor sounds, nor smells, nor tastes, nor things that can be touched. Therefore he is called a Shrodapana. If, O Bhagavata, Shrodapana were to think in this wise, the fruit of Shrodapati has been obtained by me. He would believe in a self. He would believe in a being. He would believe in a living being. He would believe in a person. Bhagavat said, What do you think, O Subhuti? Does a Sakridhagaman think in this wise? The fruit of a Sakridhagaman has been obtained by me. Subhuti said, Not indeed, O Bhagavat. A Sakridhagaman does not think in this wise. The fruit of a Sakridhagaman has been obtained by me. And why? Because he is not an individual being or dharma who has obtained the state of a Sakridhagaman. Therefore he is called a Sakradagaman. Bhagavat said, What do you think, O Subhuti? Does an Anagaman think in this wise? The fruit of an Anagaman has been obtained by me. Subhuti said, Not indeed, O Bhagavat. An Anagaman does not think in this wise. The fruit of an Anagaman has been obtained by me. And why? Because he is not an individual being who has obtained the state of Anagaman. Therefore he is called an Anagaman. Bhagavat said, What do you think, O Subhuti? Does an Arhat think in this wise? The fruit of an Arhat has been obtained by me. Subhuti said, Not indeed, O Bhagavat. An Arhat does not think in this wise. The fruit of an Arhat has been obtained by me. And why? Because he is not an individual being who is called an arhat, therefore he is called an arhat. And if, O Bhagavat, an arhat were to think in this wise, the state of an arhat has been obtained by me. He would believe in a self. He would believe in a being. He would believe in a living being. He would believe in a person. And why? I have been pointed out, O Bhagavat, by the holy and fully enlightened Tathagata, as the foremost of those who dwell in virtue. I, O Bhagavat, am an arhat freed from passion, and yet, O Bhagavat, I do not think in this wise. I am an arhat, I am freed from passion. If, O Bhagavat, I should think in this wise that the state of an arhat has been obtained by me, then the Tathagata would not have truly prophesied of me, saying, Subhuti, son of a good family, the foremost of those dwelling in virtue, does not dwell anywhere, and therefore he is called a dweller in virtue, a dweller in virtue indeed.